Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's your friendly neighborhood makeup hobgoblin here. And <clears throat> the usual, we're just getting ready. And honestly, it's going to be a pretty minimal get ready with me. Um, we started with Drunk Elephant Sea Firma, Glow Wear Recipe, Watermelon. And then the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. Because I keep getting samples of this and then I just refill that. And yeah, I just have some errands to run and then I'm going to color my hair. It is pretty sad out. Um, the only thing that stinks is I have to go pretty far to get to like... I need to go to a drop-off that has FedEx and UPS. And maybe the post office. Um, that'd be really nice and I can send um, a Mother's Day card. If not, I can just drop it off at my little one here. Um, let's start with the base. I've really been liking, um, again, I barely, it's, I don't even wear foundation. I take tints and then I water them down. So I've been mixing the L'Oreal True Match Serum. This is in the shade, that's the wrong one. This is in the shade 1.1 1 .1 to 2.5 Rosy. And then I normally use the L'Oreal Lumi Glotion, but I did find this on Amazon. It's definitely not currently being made, but I'm happy I got it in light medium. If you have this, it's basically the same thing. It's just a different shade. Um, so yeah, I'm just putting some of that on the back of my hand. It's really pretty. I like that L'Oreal makes their like glow products. They're not shimmery. They're just glowy. Like whatever pearls they use, they really make sure um, that they're like really fine. Okay, so we're taking that. Mix them together. And what do you got? Bippity boppity boop. And this is just going everywhere. I'm not putting on a proper primer because, again, I'm literally just running some errands. And then I, this is going to sound weird, but I do my own hair, right? And sometimes I feel really like I need to get put together to want to do it. So it's kind of like, you know, you get dressed, you get ready for the day. Obviously, when I color my hair, I can't really use, like, nice clothes. So I, there's something about, like, I don't know. It's like I have to then match my hair to my face, and it makes me want to, like, do it. This is the Morphe and Ariel brush. All right, literally barely anything, barely anything. Um, but exactly what I want. Uh, I've been testing out the Dior Backstage. I'm on the fence, but it's just hard. It's really, really hard because every time I've used it, I like it. And then when I go to like test it, like when I'm going to work and stuff, I'm like, oh, this is fine. But then on the days where I'm like, oh, I'm like doing my makeup. I'm really like looking at it. I'm like... I don't know, I feel like there's a slight learning curve and I just don't enjoy that. So it's got a brush applicator. This is the shade 1N and it also dries down really fast. I don't know. Basically, if it looks good today, we're good. If it doesn't look good today, she's gone. See, I don't know, I feel like it looks good. It's one of those, like, not matte, not flat, and I feel like it just kind of gives your under eye, like, a kiss of life. I don't know. Upon initial... I like it. I don't know what that is. That's really disrespectful. Um, and let's just do the same thing over here. So how's everybody? It's really weird. I know I don't... It sucks because I have more time in my life, but filming is just not a priority. Definitely going through a bit of a slump. I've had a wild month. Um, my car got totaled, had to get a new one. Uh, it wasn't totaled in an accident. It was a flood. But like, just stressful. Let us not lie. Let us not pretend that like... Out of the blue car stuff isn't stressful. And then there's so much stuff I didn't know about. Like, I still had a warranty from, like, my old dealership on that car. So, 
I had to like call them and then they had to file something through like Subaru and they're like oh well like she didn't use her warranty up so I guess I can get money back from that because I paid for it for the like X amount of years I don't know it's just crazy like how many little things there are and like nobody tells you about because then how would you know how would you know without knowing wild so now every time it rains i get sad because i don't want anything to flood again and i feel like it's fair also i don't like the way it storms here it's always like big and scary and i don't like that bronzer what should we do you know what? we're gonna go into the drawer of forgotten items yeah this is what we're gonna do we're gonna take the tower 28 this is the west coast bronzer mine is still good because I've, I've checked it i've checked it. uh and we're gonna use this because i own it and is it picking up Also, since it's gloomy, maybe this will be a nice little balance. I don't know. Have any of you guys gotten the new one? There's a hair somewhere. Um, it's more like a traditional bronzer, because this is like a highlighting bronzer, which I personally really enjoy. I just... I'm definitely not going to dip into a highlighty bronzer in the fall and winter. And I feel like that makes sense right like now that spring is almost over like we're getting it's mid-may right so we're getting closer to june this will be perfect and you know what this formula is kind of stiff but i feel like that's good because if it was too emollient then it would just be like all over my face for blush i picked up some of the m cosmetics blushes when they did that really like not accurate 50 percent off sale but it was supposed to be buy one full price get one half off but then they accidentally were all half off. Um, so this is the strawberry one. And I haven't worn it yet, like, on my cheeks. So this will be cute. Of course I had to get it. Oh, wow. That's beautiful. Um, I did try the Juvia's Place liquid blushes. Personally hated it. Um, it was so flat and lifeless matte like it almost looked chalky and I had one of the lighter shades so maybe if you're deeper it might um and you get one of the deeper shades it might feel more rich and like be good um but I had the shade blushed lily which looked beautiful and it was it was not it was not beautiful this is really cute And then let's do, let's do eyes. Um, literally two products and it's like nothing. So we're taking the matte paint pot and groundwork. Love it. Slay our lives. Big brush. This is real techniques. You could use like a eye um, crayon. What are those called? Like the Laura Mercier, which I have. Um, I just don't have this exact tone, and also, I don't know, I almost like that this isn't an eyeshadow, because, like, an eyeshadow stick makes it feel, like, too much. I really want it to be so minimal, so putting just a base down makes it feel like, yeah. Um, I will say for the concealer, I do need to, like, you know, like, do-do-do it out, kind of, while I'm doing my makeup, but once the rest of the day hits, like, I'm good. Also, I did get a new mascara that Lauren me. No, not Lauren. Lauren's great though. Love her. Uh, Hannah Louise posted and made me get. Um, it's the L'Oreal Balm In Mascara. So it is a tubing mascara, I'm pretty sure. But I got the brown one and it's really nice. So my issue is my mascara always transfers. It's very unfortunate. But... 
this doesn't and I like that one there's a brown shade to its drugstore so at Walmart and Amazon it's like nine bucks pretty good because I've learned high-end mascaras aren't really worth it and I would say for mascara L'Oreal makes my favorites both waterproof and regular I mean there's some I don't like like I never liked the voluminous but that's okay That is a-okay. I have not tried out on the bottom mascara, my bottom lashes, because I normally just do the top. Um, I would just be careful because I feel like this does lengthen my lashes a good amount. So if the bottom ones get too long, I feel like it's um guaranteed to transfer because where else is it supposed to go? I do think I'm gonna set with a little bit of powder because um, I feel really shiny and if it's like drizzly out, I don't wanna deal with that. I got this sample of the NARS Translucent Crystal Powder. Is that what it's called? I don't know, but it looks like this. It doesn't even look real. Um, And I'm just, I used it the other day and I feel like it looked really good under my under eyes. So I'm really just gonna use it in that area. So I'm gonna do this little triangle right here. And I like using like a brush that's a different color so you can like see that it's been picked up. I don't know, I feel like it's like nice. And this little thing will last a while because it's a deluxe size sample. I got it from Ulta. They did like this little NARS thing. It was this in the, um, the orgasm blush but weirdly enough I don't have that one so it worked out for it being a mini for me and then there's those little spots that we put concealer on where it's kind of breaking out we're gonna do that okay I'm really liking this there's a hair in my eye okay I do want to put highlighter on though of course of course let's do okay this is the nude six ones normally i do the chanel sculpting shade of the essential this is ice ice baby from nude sticks just to use a different one whoops what get off of me hair rude i've really been into highlighters like this lately just kind of i don't want glitter i don't want shimmer i just want you know, I could even put a little bit maybe in the inner corner. It's really not going to do much. Okay. And then I've been, you could also do an eyeliner. I'm not because I'm going to have to wash my face when I color my hair. Um, I have been picking my lips really, really bad lately. So my favorite way to combat that is a liquid lipstick. And I know it sounds a little like, wait, what? Is this the one I want? I think so. So I picked these up um, over a month ago. This is some of the KVD, Vegan Beauty, Love Beauty, Love Earth, Vegetarian Beauty. Um, this is in the shade Jupiter's Eye because they were like, I don't know. They were close to $10, I want to say, on her website. And I was getting into liquid lipsticks. Remember that hot minute when we were getting into liquid lipsticks again? Um, but this will help me not pick my lips. Yeah, and it'll be like the pop.
You get a good amount of time to work with it. And especially this being a more vibrant color, if I were to pick my lips, I'd look really silly if I'm out and about and I have a chunk missing. So, I don't know. Does anyone else experience that? Let's look and see if there's anything else I need. I feel like this is a good little balance. I mean, I could do a little more to my eyes. But I really don't want to because I am going to have water literally pouring down my face when I wash my hair because I'm really, like, not good at doing that. Uh, let's just take, like, a tiny bit more blush. And again, this was the strawberry one from M Cosmetics. I mean, I was able to sheer it out that much. Like, imagine if I didn't. That's one thing I like about this M formula. I don't know. I, I tried it originally because a friend had given me one. And then when they did that BOGO thing and there was the glitch, I was like, must run. Also, this look would look really cute with some um, lash extent or like some fake lashes, whether it's like the little ones or a bigger strip. Um, just to kind of like, you know, but I think this is good. I feel cute. I like that this is like a muted red. Um... I don't know, I guess we'll look back at the footage and see how we feel about it. Uh, let me know if you have tried any of these things, if you enjoyed this super minimal makeup look, maybe this video is not four years long. Um, please comment, like, and subscribe to my channel, and hopefully I'll see you in my next one. Bye.